and record this, please. Uh, not only is God the same yesterday, today, and forever, but the same pattern on which He saved the world in ancient times will be the same pattern on which He will save the world in latter times. And here we have the Joseph Smith translation of Genesis chapter 9, where it talks about, uh, and actually this will be 14 through 25, uh, this will be the way on which God will save his people. And it says, And it was delivered unto men by the calling of his own voice, according to his own will, unto as many as believed on his name. For God, having sworn unto Enoch, and unto his seed with an oath by himself, that every one being ordained after this order and calling should have power by faith to break the mountains, to divide the seas, to dry up the waters, to turn them out of their own courses, to put at defiance the armies of the nations, to divide the earth and to break every band, to stand in the presence of God, to do all things according to His will, according to His command, subdue principalities and powers, and by the will of the Son of God, which was firm before the foundation of the world. And men having this faith, coming up unto the order of God, were translated and taken up into heaven. The millennium is the intersection between earth and God. It is the intersection between heaven and earth. There will be a marriage. The bridegroom of God will be a man uh, like ourselves that will offer a petition unto the Lord, a, a petition for help. That we realize that we need thy divine counsel to continue as a species, to continue as a race. We need the creator of this world to please come down and to intercede in behalf of man to subdue the principalities, the orders of Satan that has taken over these realms and to bring again the birth of the kingdom of God upon this world. And until this prayer is answered, we will continue to petition to God. And we will ask and he will, we, we will receive. We will seek and we will find. And Thomas, what is the third? We will knock, and then what will be opened? The door will be opened. The doors of what, Speedy? Heaven. Yes, sir. And once these are open, there is no, uh, you know, doubt that we were right. And God has promised us a river of chocolate for doing this work. That is all I've asked. And maybe a house of caramel and maybe a few nougats or whatever. But that ain't much, you know. It could have a, you know, planet of just chocolate. I mean, what's wrong with that type of thing? The more you eat, the more in spiritual you become. And thus, by the weak things of the world shall be me manifest the glory of God. And my testimony is this, that the Lord Jesus lives. That he was a man born amongst men like any of us. And even though he was of divine origin, so are we through the loins of Adam. And as we take Jesus as our example and, and live the world and the life that he lived, we will do the things that he has done. As he promised us that what I have done, we all can do. And let our lights so shine before men that they may see our good works. And that we will glorify our Father in heaven, for it is his plan. It is his will. It is his kingdom. It is his glory forever and ever. In the name of the Lord God, Jehovah, and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.